Ooh, put that right there. Okay. Whew. What? What's up, guys? So I have been looking forward to making this review. You might have heard me talking about it in some of my previous videos, but it is here. It is finally here. What is this big hunk of love right here? You may have seen in one of my other videos, I had that little power cell that charges your phone if your phone runs out of batteries, you're on the go, or don't have access to power. This thing, in a nutshell, is basically a power cell amped up to the max. So why the power cell, man? Why? Like, why? It's so random. Why? No, it's not random. This is actually super smart. Think of it like this. Have you guys ever been in this scenario, working at your computer, or heck, you're just playing on your computer, playing a video game, whatever. Power goes out, and the house is dark. Dad, we need to get the generator out. And he's like, all right, come on, man. We go to the garage, you know, pulling the generator out. Oh man, the gas is like sludge in there. Hold on, we gotta clean the carburetor out. Let's try to start up. Meanwhile, the neighbor's looking out the window like, what the heck, man? The power's only been out for 10 minutes. You guys are already starting up the gas power generator. You know what I'm saying? And it's just like, and the lights in the house are like flickering like this. You know what I mean? So rather than having that gas generator making all that noise that weighs about 200 pounds that's stored in the garage, it's just start up, you know, when the power goes out. You got this sucker right here, and you can just plug in your appliances right into this thing, right when you need it. A lot less noise than that gas power generator, a lot more portable, a lot less messy, a lot more efficient. So according to the specs, this is the US version. You can get the international version if you know, you're know you overseas international because our plug outlets are different. So on this side, you have the AC outputs where we can plug in our appliances. I believe 120 volt appliances. It says 1800 watt on the box. It also says 3,300 watt total. Whatever the heck that means. You know, I'm not an electrical engineer, right? I didn't take the time to look all this stuff up. We're just gonna start plugging things in and see if they work. That's how we do things over here, okay? On the other side here we have USB ports, and we have fast charge USB ports, USB-C ports, LCD screen here. That, when we turn it on, will tell us the stat of this machine, how much is being inputted, how much is being outputted, how much charge is left, blah, 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 blah. It's great. She weighs 30 pounds, about 30 pounds. Nice solid handles right here. Nothing rattling, nothing wobbling around. Can it power some big appliances? Can it power what's necessary in a power outage scenario? Or if you wanna be like Tom Haverford in Parks and Rec, you know when you go camping and just power all your appliances up, have a TV going and whatnot. Or heck, even if a SHTF scenario and you know you're on the go and you need to power some appliances, get that talkie going, you know you're out of batteries. I don't know. This thing's your boy right here, right? So the first thing you wanna do is charge this thing up to 100% so it can just store the power for when you need it, right? This sucker opens up right here, plug this in the back right here, plug this in your wall, charges up, runs the fans, keeps it cool. It didn't charge up, SHTF, you know? What are we gonna do? Well, say you're out, you're camping or something and you do have solar panels, it's got a solar panel plug-in set up right there. You plug it into the solar panels. It tells you in the instructions how you wanna set up the solar panels. I don't have solar panels. I just plugged into the wall and now it's storing 100% of its power. It only took about an hour to charge up plugging it into the wall, which is actually pretty impressive to me because it's got a lot of energy in there right now. Oh man. It does have uh, overload protection, all right? That's something you're gonna want in any of these power cells. You know, you don't want these things blowing up on you. So if it does overload or anything and uh, you get an error message, you just hit that reset button right there. Pow. Without further ado, I charged this thing up to 100% yesterday. It's good to go. Let's start it up, put it to the test. Oh, power's right up. Oh, man. We'll start with the simple USB-A charge. Plugged it in. Plugged it in my phone. Press and hold to use the DC power, okay? So I wanna use the DC power, press and hold. Oh, yep, worked. Phone just went bloop, and it's charging. So look at this, check this out. So cool right here, if you guys can see this. It says output watts. We have five watts being output right now. Okay, let's plug in some more USB stuff. Drone remote time. Oh, it's charging. <laughs> Output's only seven watts right now. We're barely even cranking this sucker up. Going to the fast charge side over here. Some Powerbeats Pro. Got the dot on, they're charging up. Eight watts. It's barely anything. Yes, so we got all this stuff in, charging right up right here. Let's flip this sucker around. Let's turn this on. Ooh. And we've got the fans powering up, okay? So it's it's expecting maybe some more power to be coming into this sucker right here. Plugging in the drone battery, seeing if we can get a charge on the drone battery here. Yo, looks like it's charging, holy moly. 
Ooh, that bumped it up. We're at 81 watts now, okay? And it looks like it says 15 hours. So we could charge that drone battery for 15 hours straight along with all this other stuff. All right, so you know what? It's proved itself. It can just charge things right up, all right? We can charge our drone batteries, our phones, our headphones, our laptop. But what about actually powering appliances, keeping them powered? Let's put this sucker to the test. Plug that in there. Ready? This is crazy, the output says zero, and I believe that's probably because this is like an LED. Barely uses anything. How about the actual photography light? You know what I'm saying? The photography light. So, photography light's plugged in. There's one light. Oh, so we got an output of 29 watts. There we go. 59, two, ready, three, four, five, just turn them all on. Okay, they're all on. I think some of them are actually burned out. Just that one. There we go. Bulb was a little loose in there. <laughs> so all of the lights are on right now and it's using 147 watts. You can plug all these lights in. Here, let's just plug in some lights. Check it out. Oh. Yep. 191 watts. It's powering all these lights easily. Six hours, it can power these six hours straight, no problem. But as indicated by the specs of this, it can go up to 1800 watts. So we're not even close yet. So next I'm gonna put this on something I'm actually gonna be using this for that's actually very important to me as a YouTuber, as someone who's always on the computer, my computer. Got the computer plugged in there and also got some speakers plugged in there, okay? I'm gonna plug the entire power supply right into the back of this thing. Power up, ready? Oh! Looks like it turned right on. Holy moly. So my computer is literally plugged into this power bank right now, not the wall. It's running totally fine. I've got Premiere open right here. It's totally running how it would run if I just had it plugged into the wall. We're not even close to a thousand yet and it can do 1800. All right, time to put this thing even further to the test. All right guys, am I forgetting one of the most important things in the entire house? <laughs> The TV setup. I have the entire TV power supply. It also has the internet power supply, the Wi-Fi power supply as well. So, you know, it's all one big bundle because everybody's watching what? Smart TV, Hulu, Netflix now. So we're just gonna include all of that. Let's see if it works. <gasps> Man, it works. Where the heck's my videos? All right, just so we don't cause any copyright, I'm gonna play one of my own videos. All right, that's the reason I'm doing this. So we're watching a YouTube video, blowing up that screen. It's only using 17 watts right now. It says it's got 66 hours left. You can watch TV for days if the power goes out, just using this bad boy, powering the internet too. Dude, that's nuts. Yet Hulu works, not taking any more energy out than YouTube did. Exactly the same, 17, 18 watts. Look at this, scary show, scary show. You can watch scary TV. Now how about something with a heating element? The coffee pot. So. Power goes out, you wanna make a nice cup of coffee. Let's see if it can power the coffee machine. Got the coffee machine right here. Plugging that in. Don't spill water on my battery. Got some old coffee in there, just recycle it. Just for the test, bro. All right, turn the sucker on. Oh, she turns on. Oh, it's up, it's up, it's up to a thousand. It says it's got an hour of uh, being able to do that left, but this isn't gonna take an hour, it's only gonna take like a couple minutes. So, hey, we'll see if it makes a nice fresh cup of coffee. Let's see, look at this. Ooh, look at that steam. See that steam coming off? It's hot, hot coffee. Man, that's nuts, I can't believe it. Hey, we did the coffee machine, let's see if it powers the toaster oven. Stand back, might blow up. Ho! Oh, it's going even more than it said it would go. But it's working! It's powering the freaking toaster oven. She's holding steady at max capacity, look at that. Got 30 minutes of power on this, man. You could, you could toast a panini in there. <laughs> man, this thing scares me how much power that's putting out. Frick. You running strong, Betsy? She, she running strong. The vacuum cleaner test. Oh, man. <laughs> Honestly, that's like no like dingy power. Like it's not like like only power in the vacuum like.
quarter power. No, that was full power. That was just like I plugged it into the wall. That's pretty impressive. Ceramic space heater test. Oh, ready? <laughs> Look at that. You got this sucker on high and it's producing heat. Honestly, it's doing that all on its own. Look at, there's no magic here. See that? Usually things with the ceramic heating element, um, you know, require a lot of power. A lot of power, a lot of times like a fuse will be blown on the household and whatnot. But this sucker's handling it just fine. I love how it self-regulates, like it has like a fan on the inside, it keeps itself cool, that's a good safety feature. It doesn't even feel hot, barely even slightly warm. Look at this guys, we've got plugged into this thing and running well. The air filter, look you can turn it all the way up. And it's barely even taking any watts. Alright, let's just do like a little overall random test here. Look at that, it's powering all this stuff, got the light, got the drone charging. Got my headphones charging, powering these speakers right here. Turn it up. Let's see what it's using. It's only using 100 watts. No! Oh! Yeah, that's crazy. It's not even pushing it when we're plugging in all these electronics. Not even pushing it. So what really seems to push it is like anything with a heating element. So the space heater, the coffee pot pushed it a little bit, and the toaster oven. But it ran. It ran all of those things. It totally ran it. So we put this thing through the test. We got the output watts to go above 1800 and it still held its ground. Power in that toaster oven. It could honestly power like any appliance. What really honestly surprised me was how little energy the TV setup requires. We could watch TV for days on this thing. I went through a bunch of basic tests, but inside the instructions here, you can see there's a lot of other practical applications. It shows you how to hook up your solar panels, how you wanna do that. I don't have any solar panels, so I can't do that, but if you wanna hook up solar panels, you can solar charge this thing, you can get this thing powered up with solar power. Talk about a survival scenario, you know what I mean? You need power, you got your solar panels, you got this power supply, charge it up, you got pop, yeah. You're gonna be one wanted man with this sucker, I tell you right right now. Honestly, super practical for me, when the power does go out, I'm definitely gonna be using this thing. I'm telling you right now, I am definitely gonna use this to power my computer, to be able to do my work, power some lights, and to be honest, even power my coffee pot, because you know what, guys, I'm addicted to that coffee, and if I'm not gonna be able to get my warm coffee in the morning, I'm gonna freak out, but this thing can power the coffee pot, can brew a nice, warm cup of coffee. So I definitely would recommend this product if you think you're someone who's gonna need an alternative source of power or just wanna have that backup power source in case the power goes out. Or if you're traveling, going on a camping trip, you wanna bring power with you, yada, yada, yada. The scenarios are endless. Anywhere you go, you, you want extra power, boom. Electric power stored in this power cell right here. It works. Potential downside that you might find a downside or might not, you know, it might be totally worth it to you is obviously this thing is a little pricey, okay? It's, it's about $13.99, so it's about $1,400. That's USD. But I do have a coupon code here that you guys can use if you know you choose to buy this. I'm not saying you have to buy this, but if you're like, yo, I need that thing, then use the coupon code, okay? Because you're gonna get $50 off. Coupon code is Earth50 off five. Just like that, put that in. If you're gonna buy this, you're gonna get 50 bucks off. Yeah, this thing is the Mac Daddy of power cells in my opinion. Holy moly, I thoroughly enjoyed reviewing this product. I'm gonna give it a thumbs up. I liked it. Hey man, I had fun. What, what would you power with this sucker? Tell me what you would power with this sucker in the comments section. Check out this product on EcoFlow's website in the link below. You can check out EcoFlow on Instagram. I'll leave those links in the description. Thank you all so much for watching this video. I had a ton of fun reviewing this product. Let me know what you guys think in the comments sections. What you guys would power with the EcoFlow Delta 1300, man. Tell me what you power, all right? Rocket ship, let me know. Thank you all so much for watching this video. Thank you so much for all your support, positive feedback. Don't forget to subscribe. Peace. You all have a good one. I will see you all in the next video.